Alright there guys, welcome back to my channel, Minimalistic 2.0 um, Without wasting much of your time, today we're going to be creating um, a shopping logo um, We're going to be naming it OCAT So um, I want you guys to just follow up my very quick steps on how we can get this done in a few minutes So for this tutorial, we're going to be using um, the ellipse tool, just click on it um, Let's take our fill to zero uh, stroke to let's just pick a color for the stroke. I want us to use something orangey, something orangey. Let's go for darker orange. All right, so perfect. So, the first thing we're going to be doing is okay, let's just go for green. Sorry about that. Let's go for green. Um, now make sure you're on the ellipse too. First thing we're going to do is draw our first O. We're going to be drawing our first O. So we'll be increasing the stroke to something like this. Um, I want us to reduce the size of this. Um, I I feel it's too bold. Let's reduce it. Okay. Um, I think twenty-seven pixel um is fine. Twenty-seven is fine. So um, let's just shift it somewhere here. Okay. All right. So um, we are going to take go to our text tool. Just hit T on your keyboard. using okay we're using that and let's write our O okay increase this Let's go for something regular. Okay. Now let's just shift it and put it somewhere here. Okay. Let's bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Let's bring it down. 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 Um, why don't we make it? I want us to make it smaller. Okay, so perfect. Just hit the enter key. Okay, let's raise back our layer bars. Let's raise back our layer bars. So um, what I want us to do now is grab our pen tool. Just hit P on your keyboard. Click on the new, new layer. Let's name this hide white. Change the foreground color to white. The stroke to zero. Fill to white. Okay. Um. I want us to click here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And here. Okay. Make sure this side white is not under the ellipse layer. Okay. Now let's zoom in. I want us to go and grab um, our rectangle tool. Okay. We'll be changing the fill to our recently used green. Okay. Um let's change it to 70. Hit enter. 
we'll draw something like a handle here to reduce it let's see all right when you're satisfied with the results you can just leave it there okay um the next thing we're going to be doing now is um we're going to be drawing let's make another layer and name this mouse click all right so um we're going to be using this I want us to draw make sure you're on shape as autofill now I want us to draw something like a mouse that the computer mouse logo something like this now you can drag it put it somewhere here let's tilt it somewhere here like this okay Now, um, for the tires, right click and put it on ellipse tools. We're going to be drawing tires now. Let's name this tires. That's the cut tires. So, um, let's make this green. All right. So draw the first one. Okay, hit the Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate it. All right. Somewhere here is fine. Um, I want us to hold down your Ctrl, click on tires, right click on it. And choose the merge shapes. Okay. Now that the two layers have been merged together, double click on it to take you to the layer style panel. Go to your stroke. Okay. Change this to pure white. All right. Now reduce the size to six hit okay okay um let's zoom out and let's see what we have so far okay all right so here we have our cards we have our click um let's go to the mouse and um, you can just simply hold down uh, your alt key then bring down this effect to the mouse. I want this uh, mouse to have this same stroke that I did on the tires. So just release it, and this is what you will have. Okay. I think our logo is almost ready. Now, um, click on the tire copy. Go down to where you started everything. Hold down shift and click on it. I want us to group this whole thing into I want us to put it in a group. So right click and look for okay. You can just drag it, drag everything here. So um what we'll do now is hit control C. I want us to turn this this way a little bit. Here, yeah, hit enter. So, this is what we have so far. Okay, now I want us to work on this handle. I want us to shift the position. So, I think it's perfect this way. Zoom in. The next thing we're going to be doing is adding our text. So Let's 
just name this layer zero cuts. the size and then Z E R O C A R C and so on. Let's remove this from IRL. Let's deploy more more suitable fonts. Acrobat seems nice, but um, let's look for something more. Something more. Something that we can do. This canaro have this canaro seems nice. Okay. Okay. I want this fonts to be bold, so let's just change this to green. Okay, so we have something like this. Um, let's open up the font properties. Um, this is another trick, guys. Sometimes when you download the fonts, you might not like how light it is. You might need something bold. What you just do is just highlight the whole text. Okay. Now, um, click here, which is the font character, as you can see. So what we are going to do is we're going to be clicking here to make it um a bold text so click on here okay um the distance i want it close something like this so yeah i think we're good zero cuts turn zoom out all right so let's just put this in the middle okay I want this. I want us to make the text a little bit smaller. So there you have it, guys. This is a very sweet um, shopping logo that you can just easily create for yourself. Um, you can just still go ahead and let's just create um, a new layer. We name this minimalistic shades okay i always like to do this in my fonts it always makes uh, my logo presented one sweet so let's just try it okay and let's put it somewhere around here click let's try let's just delete this let's delete this and let's redraw it let's make it um only in this region so here we go again one two three four let's reduce the opacity so we can see where we headed so here Let's make sure you're within these green cards here. All right, let's bring that back up. Okay, so um, we're going to be using all right. So let's bump the 
this so it forces fine um now just double click on it and adjust it adjust it zero cuts um to make this more bold you can simply double click on it okay um let's add a stroke to it um not not a stroke let's just uh hit ctrl j hit ctrl j okay Let's shift this out a bit. First one, um, second one. Sorry, I have to turn off all these effects. Let's delete the first one. Second one, let's just okay. So, um, this is what we have before and after. So, you can still turn off the opacity a bit, okay. Um, for this logo, um, let's just not use this. I think we should just keep our logo this simple. Um, so guys, that is all for this tutorial. Just in case you're joining us for the first time, please and please kindly help me hit that subscribe button. On you turn on that bell notification icon so that anytime that I upload a brand new video, um, you're going to see it. Okay, so um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.